Sports is sponsored by these local businesses. This past weekend, the James H. Quill and VA Medical Center celebrated 120 years in Mountain Home. In this week's Veterans Voices, we take you to that celebration and explain what the VA means to our region and we tell you a little bit about its future. I get all my health care here at the VA and uh, one of the best decisions I've ever made in terms of health care. For 120 years, the James H. Quillen VA Medical Center has been providing care for veterans in the Tri-Cities region and beyond. I got my shots, you know, and uh, I had oral surgeon and uh, some teeth dental work done and they keep, keep good uh, tabs on me. I make my appointments and I can't say enough for the staff and facility here at the VA. From routine appointments and major surgeries to short and long-term inpatient care, the Mountain Home VA has evolved to meet veterans' needs. The VA or the, the original facilities, many of which were established to treat wounds associated with gunshots and bomb blasts and uh, back in World War I, World War II uh, for poisonous gases. And over time, yes, we still have the bullets and, and the bombs, but we've also evolved where we can do more complex surgery. We provide women's health services. We have robust uh, primary care, specialty care, mental health services. This past weekend, that long-standing commitment was recognized with a parade and a celebration. Veterans like Carol Remind say they're thankful to have this level of care so close to home. I started out at the bottom, you know, with hearing and and now then uh, I've had two cancers and we've got them behind me and two grandkids ahead of me. The look of the VA has evolved too. Our clock tower, which was an original domiciliary and dining hall, uh, we're now going to renovate it and turn it into a state-of-the-art rehabilitation center for physical therapy, occupational therapy, and prosthetics, but we'll still have that grand historic architecture. With those renovations, services are also expanding. We've got a robotic surgery program where we do general surgery, gynecological surgery, urological surgery. We're going to expand that surgical program and put in ion bronchoscopies, robotic surgeries as well, so we'll be able to go in and take samples of lung nodules to try to diagnose cancer at its earliest and most curable stages. The VA is also expanding and enhancing services at its satellite facilities outside of the region too. Do you know of a veteran whose story needs to be told or is there a veterans issue you want to tell us about? Well, let us know by heading on over to WJHL.com and clicking on the community tab and that's where you'll find Veterans Voices.